kickstart our day on this episode of Off The Grid With The Badger, Blair and I take the plunge. Jump in a tinny and go hunting for Barra before heading deep into croc country, where the local crossing guards are just waiting to snap us up. With the first night in the top end done and dusted, we woke up with rumbling tummies and a few horrid smells coming out of our swags. So before we head north, Blair and I decided we need to do something about it. All right, mate. Head north today, last year's dip the eggs. And my setup is punja. <laughs> Now, I can handle the heat, hunger pains, and even the odd muscle twinge, but that lingering smell would put any friendship to the test. With our setups all freshened up, we're back in the Forby and heading north for our next adventure. On the way, we catch up with Graham to receive our welcome to country ceremony. And as luck would have it, the generous bloke loans us his tinny to explore a billabong where the locals don't look too friendly could be some stiff competition. We need the Barra to play the game. The boys are hanging out for a feed. Some of this lily pad country, they might be hiding in under there. It's sort of, sun's a bit high now. Get in under that shade. Throw some weedless lures up there, who knows? Might yeah. pick one up. Punch it down here. Looks pretty crocky though. Very crocky. But where there's crocodiles, there's got to be food for crocodiles. So there might be some Barra Monday. Yeah, true. pretty obvious that Blair loves his fishing, and it's no secret that I love me tucker. So that combo should be pretty handy every time we drop a line. And it doesn't take long before Blair spots a tailing fish. Yeah, that, yeah that's him. Oh, there he is, he's coming towards us. He's a good fish. That's him there. <laughs> oh! oh hey. You got him? <laughs> no, he's bloody oh, spat, he spat it. it. The bloody weedless. That was togery. God. Jeez, that was a good hit, that. Do you reckon it was a tiger or a barra? Oh! oh he's on. on him! Get him! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. He hit, hit it. it. You cheeky bugger. Hit it with pace, will ya? Oh, you on? Oh, I hit it again. No, he got it. He was yeah. yanking it. God, they like to yank things. The fish are playing funny buggers at our expense, but it only takes one too many yanks and the gig's up. Oh, on. Yeah, get him out. Well done, bag. Bloody hit. Oh, must be a monster. <laughs> Don't he hit that nicely. A little tiger, is it? I don't know, but he's coming slowly. He's yeah, it's a tiger, I think. He's pulling a bit of string now. Oh, lovely fish. Yeah, it's a tiger. All right. All right. Now, I'm just going to, I'm not going to put my hand in the water. I'm just going to go one, two, in. <laughs> 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 What a beautiful fish, mate. Lucky I took the time to squeeze me rat. Yeah, I noticed you doing that. It was a bit yeah. awkward, but geez, it worked. And then this little mouse, I, I got the water out of that before I cast that's, it in. Yeah, that's the key. A Saratoga isn't the best on the plate, and a small one's not gonna cut it. So we head off into the reeds in search of the elusive barra, which doesn't turn out to be our smartest idea. The barra don't want a bar of it, and the local salties are just waiting for one of us to fall into the drink. So Blair and I decide we're better off beating the impending bad weather and hitting the road to reach the coast before nightfall. With over 100,000 wild saltwater crocs in the top end, it looks like a fair few of them have gathered right smack bang here at this river crossing. Water's moving pretty sharp here. Struth. Look at these fellas. Oh, what's that one? Oh, 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 oh. oh he's come oh, right across the front. What? Jeez, don't go in here far out. Oh my goodness. Look at those crocs. Oh, he's got one, he's got a fish. He's got one right here. What? Oh, that's a big croc too. Wow. <laughs> this is the last place you want to go in. 
I reckon these local security guards would like nothing more than for us to have a little slip up. It's actually a pretty big crocodile. That is a big crocodile. Look at that one. Oh my lord. You want to invite him in? Well, he's pretty much coming. Hey, <laughs> mate. I reckon before yeah, he gets in. Yeah, no. Seat's taken. We're getting a bit close, that bloke. Yeah, let's carry on. <laughs> Jeez, you wouldn't want to go in there. <laughs> go for a dip? Yeah, go for a swim, eh? Well, that's a taste of Arnhem Land. <laughs> yep, I wouldn't like to be a mullet right now. As the Amarok cuts a path through the red dirt, we realise we're getting further off the grid. With each passing click, this really feels like we're entering the final frontier. From the rugged escarpments to the blue ocean, this place is top notch. Bit of blue. Oh, oh, there it is. Give me a look. Oh, yes. Thank the Lord. Red dirt into white sand. Into blue ocean. Into that rock bar. Looks like it needs into to be fished. Into a branch. Damn. Carry on. It's been a dusty mission in the rig, but we've finally reached the Arnhem coastline. And with limited tucker in our bellies, we grab the fishing rods and get casting. Look at the tide's going out. These waves already get standing up a bit more. Right, eh? They are, eh? Even since we got here. Yeah, I reckon. Sun setting, trying to get a feed. Anything will do. We're happy. This is the witching hour. Come on, you bass. With the pressure building to catch a fish dinner, we cast our arms off until the sun sets. But while fish was top of the menu for tonight's tucker, we soon realised we're going to have to change tactics to get a feed. That sounded better. There you go. Oh! You have to slurp that one. Oh! You just take it. Oh, this, is this the puddle you weighed in? Yes, oh, earlier. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm very dehydrated, so just be mindful. That's fine. Good oyster. Beauty. Your one looks like it's from a restaurant. My one looked like the <laughs> dog chewed on it. Right on. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, yummo. Those northern black lip oysters are my favourite. After a belly full of the freshest oysters going around, we head back to the car, grab the swags and set up camp. And keep our distance for... unscheduled wind issues. Next time on Off The Grid With The Badger. Blair and I make tracks along the coast where we learn there's plenty of tucker amongst the mangroves. Some that's tasty and others that prove a little harder to keep down. Are you going to throw up? No. <laughs> you are. <laughs>